Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I just wanted to share some Arty Cake inspired charms that I've been working on the last few days. I've been having so much fun making these. Um, I came up with some really cool ideas on how to make some pieces that sort of emulate um, the real Arty Cakes. Um, I don't own any Arty Cakes, but I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to make my own. Um, I know that there's a lot of swaps out there. So maybe some of these ideas will help um, anyone that's in a swap or if you guys just want to make your own for yourself or for your friends. So I have a lot of pieces that are unfinished that I will show you, but I'm going to show you the finished ones first. So this one here is really, really simple. It's just a um, cameo earring and I added a jump ring, some black seam binding and a, a garment pin that I painted black with some black gesso. So that's that one. And then this one here. This is, uh, it's two rondelles that are stacked together. And one is clear and one is black. And then this is a bead cap. It's actually two bead caps that I um, kind of pulled apart or opened up. It, it originally looked like this. I'll show you. So originally it looked like this. And so I just um, opened it up and then added them to this on top of this uh, big bead. Another rondelle. And then I attached that to this little charm here which is um, another bead and then a flattened out bead cap on top of this wooden spool that I painted black and then added some bling mesh, another bead, and then I created like this little tassel. So that's that one. And then this one here is uh, a mini rosette. And this is a jewelry piece that I got from Michaels. And it was on like a long strand of, um, of these. So it already had the chain in place. So all I did was add a jump ring and some beads and this gem. And then at the top, I just added uh, this larger jump ring. These were already there. And then this mesh here that was uh, left over from when I cut around the rosette. So that's that one. And then this one is a metal filigree piece that I got from Butterbee Scraps and it was like a bronze color and all I did was I painted it with um, this silver leafing pen. I love using this. So I painted it with that and then added I added the mini rosette on top of that and then this is another jewelry piece from Michaels. And then I just add, attached um, this dangle here, which is just a bead, a bead cap, and this large uh, bling piece. So that's that. And I added some chain to the top and, and a jump ring. So that's that piece. Um, let's see, I have another well, I guess this one's sort of finished. I'll show you this one too. So this is like a cluster of pearls in a bottle cap. And I actually did something similar to this or in a, oh, that book that I did for Shantae. If you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. But um, all it is is a cluster of pearls. Uh, inside of a bottle cap. Really simple. If I can get it together here. Okay. And all I did was I added um, E6000 and just started building up the, the pearls. And I added two gems here. So I wasn't sure if this piece was finished. I wasn't sure if I was going to um, add something else, you know, to dangle from the bottom, but I think it. I think it looks cute like that. 
So I just added some seam binding and then another um, garment pin that I painted black. So that's that one, really cool. And then I have um, some unfinished pieces. So this one here, I think is gonna end up looking really cool. But all it is is a Tim Holtz um, ornate plate. And I hung a crown charm in the center. And so I just added two jump rings through this hole here so I can hang the chain and then obviously hang the the charm and I'm not you know I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this piece just yet so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang something just from here or hang some chain um, yeah I'm just not sure so this is the makings of a of a arty cake inspired charm <laughs> But I thought that was really cute. And, you know, you can always hang like a pearl or um, a big gem right in the center. thought that might look cute too. So that's that one. thought that was a cool idea. And let's see what else. So then I have um, all these other pieces. So I'm working on this. And this is a key that I just painted black with black gesso and sealed it with some collage podge and then added a gem and some some bling down there and then this is an earring that I got from um, uh, Big Lots and it was originally this color like a copper color and I um, use the gold leafing pen again and change it to silver. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding this to this, something like that, and then maybe dangling some chain or um, just adding some danglies to that. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this piece yet, but that's what I'm working on. And then I have these pieces here that are almost finished. And so this is just a, another uh, metal uh, filigree piece from Butterbee Scraps. And this is a gem that I got from Michaels and it came out of um, this pack here. So I just added that to the center and then um, I'm going to hang some um, pearls or little danglies from there. And of course, maybe, you know, a chain or a jump ring from the top. It can actually go either way. So that's that piece. And then this one is an earring that I added to the back of another um, filigree piece. And I left this bottom part open. So I can hang some some chain or danglies or whatever. So that's that piece ready to go. Um, let's see. All right. Oh, this is a, a washer that I uh, painted with the uh, yeah silver leafing pen. They originally look like this. You can get them like at any hardware hardware store. So I painted it and um, added some bling to it. So that's another piece that's, you know, ready to go. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. And um, so I raided my husband's, <laughs> I raided my husband's uh, shop and found like all this cool stuff. So you know how the Arty Cakes, they have the big, huge rondelles and I just love those. So, I was in my husband's shop and I found these, and these are hex bolts. And all I did was decided to recreate those big, huge rondelles. And so this is what I came up with. 
came up with these. Aren't they cute? I love it. All right, and I'll show you how I used it in a minute. But um, let's see. So I painted, you know, the, the bolts are, you know, ugly steel color. So I painted them with the gold leafing pen or the silver leafing pen and added some bling to it. And some of them I added some pearls. So this one here is the gold, the gold uh, with the red rhinestones. And I used glossy accents to adhere these. They um, already had adhesive on it, but I wanted to make sure that they didn't fall off. So, And then this is turquoise and pink and then clear. And then these are cool, the pearl. This is silver with pearl. And then this is the gold with the pearl. And then these here, uh, I've used this pack from Prima and it's the crystal sheet. And Joann's is having their 50% off this week. So um, I decided to, to try these and I love the way that, you know, the rondelles came out using this crystal sheet. I have to go back and get some more, but so here we go. focus all right so this is gold with uh, clear rhinestones this is gold with the gold rhinestones which I love that and then these two are just the silver so let me show you how I used it I was so excited when I came up with this so let's see there we go isn't that cute that is so stinking cute. So this could be a piece on its own, actually. Um, or you can, I actually used a, an eye pin for this one. So I could hang something if I wanted to. But I added a little um, bead cap to the top. And I put a pearl in there to, I don't know if you can see it, to stabilize it. Because I, I didn't want that bead cap like wobbling around. Um, so I added the... The, my rondelle which is actually a hex bolt or a hex nut sorry and this has the big gems on it and then large pearl and then another little small rondelle so I thought that came out so cute here's another one that I did because I saw one where she stacked pearl and uh, the rhinestone so I had to do that so this is a pink bead and it's like a pink gem I think it's a Jesse James. And then, of course, here's the pearl on the gold. And then this is the gold on the gold. And then an ivory gem. And then a bead cap. So I love the way these came out. Love, love, love. I think they're so cute. Oh, and for this one, I also painted the... Um, I, I use my gold leafing or silver leafing pen to paint the um, garment pen so it would match. So that's that. And then after I made these, I was so proud of myself. So I really started studying the the different components to the arty cakes, and I have a bunch of ideas that I'm gonna. <clears throat> try and of course I'm gonna share them with you but I also came up with this so these are you know how she has like the bubble or the arty cakes have like those bubble letters or bubble not bubble letters the bubble um, um, either words or uh, pictures so what I did was I used the I use these here, the, the clear gems that you get in like the floral department, and I made my own. Now these two I've already added to um, a back piece, but I have a few more that I haven't added anything to just yet, but let me show you this. So. 
Uh, I used, what paper did I use? Uh, Lost and Found Market Street by my mind's eye for the background. I don't know if you can see that flower back there. And then the word, which I could have easily just done, you know, you can just do something on your computer, but I used these um, Chit Chat by Tim Holtz. And I inked around the word, it's like a light pink, I don't know if you can see it. I inked around that and then um, added some glossy accents to the to the stone and then just glued that down. And that's what it looks like. I think it's so cute. So that's that one. And I added it to this, um, I don't know what you call these things, but they're spare parts. They're these from Hobby Lobby. And this one I actually um, kind of like brushed around, lightly brushed around the top of it with the gold leafing pen. Okay, and then this one, oops, this one I did the same thing. I used the same paper line and inked around the word create and added it, you know, with the glossy accents. And then this is a filigree piece that I added it to. Um, I got this from one of those Michaels packs as well. And then I added that whole piece to this, um, uh, what is it, a book plate or I think something like that. But I got it from Joanne's a while back and it was silver and I of course used the gold leafing pen and used the leafing pen on the filigree piece as well. So I think those came out so cute. Um, so what I was thinking of doing was, um, this is why I have this pink gem on top of here because I'm thinking of adding these two pieces together to make one piece. I think that one might be really cute. So that's my idea for right now. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. And then for this one, um, I like using this book plate because it already has the, the holes ready to go. And I'm thinking about maybe attaching this. This is another, um, this is a piece I got from Big Lots actually, this. And then I made my danglies. Ugh. So I made the, I've been practicing um, doing some wire wrapping and making um, those loops at the top. I don't know if you can see. But I've been practicing doing that so I just added those little beads down there but I'm thinking of maybe adding that like that and having that be one piece I don't know yet we'll see I'll let you know <laughs> um, and so here's the other ones that I that I started doing now in the original Artie Cakes she uses a lot of the Eiffel Tower pieces or Eiffel Tower and in like the domed pieces so this is actually graphic 45 and let's see it's um, the graphic 45 curtain call and it was like one of the strips um, from the paper I don't remember. I think I got it at Tuesday mornings. But I thought that was cute. So I'll be using, I'll be making more of that one. Here's another one using the graphic 45. And it just has the dancing ladies on it. And then here's one that says smile because she has a lot of pieces that just have a word in it like laugh or smile or believe. So I made one that says laugh as well. And then she has a lot of crowns also. So I used the My Mind's Eye. Oh, um, uh, is this Lost and Found? I don't know. Yeah, it is. The Lost and Found Market Street. There's a page in there with crowns on it. So I just did the same thing with that. 
So I thought those came out really, really cute. And I was, I'm debating, I wanted to see what it would look like if I used the gold leafing, or the silver leafing pen um, around the sides to make it look like it's um, in a bezel. I'm not sure yet though. I don't want to mess it up. Maybe I'll do a practice one and see. But anyway, um, so that's what I've been working on and my ideas for now. I have a bunch of more ideas of um, how to recreate some of the pieces from uh, the Artie Cakes collection. But um, yeah, that's what I got going on now. And so I will let you, or I will do another video when I'm finished uh, with the, you know, all the other pieces. And yeah, so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to get back working to, you know, making some more of these pieces. And I will, um, I'll see you in the next video. So thanks again for watching. Bye.